Welcome back, or nice to meet you. I'm Sage, and today we will be playing Hollow Body. Survival horror is my favorite game genre, so I was extremely excited to check out this demo last February, and now play the full game. Also, as a fun fact, when I played the demo, I never found the handgun, and I just played through the whole thing evading the enemies. <laughs> so hopefully we'll find it this time. Anyway, if you're digging the vibes here, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. All right, let's get started. In the mid 21st century, a catastrophic incident unfolded along the western coast of the British Isles. A suspected bioterrorism attack of unknown origins, targeting one of numerous British cities long since plagued by economic hardship and depravity. As panic swept the nation, authorities and private security firms raced against time to evacuate the fortunate few deemed high-value citizens to the neighboring city of Aeonis. I probably said that wrong. A sprawling metropolis constructed atop a man-made landmass floated in the expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean. Fearing the unchecked contagion could spread, towering walls were erected around the western cities, sealing them off from the rest of civilization. Weeks of relentless orbital strikes rained down on what were once bustling urban centers, incinerating any vestiges of hope for those abandoned within the quarantine zone. Six long decades have passed since the fall of the western cities. While many who suffered strive to forget, there are still those fighting for answers and justice. UNRPC Research Team City Limits. This looks very abandoned and desolate. So, Sasha, time to spill the beans. This is so interesting. The demo does not start like this at all. <laughs> I was not expecting any of this. I'm not sure I get what you mean. Not a bad thing, by the way. Come on, we've all got one. Signing up with an underfunded group of activists. Pushing back against everything those fuckers hang over us. You don't make a call like that without some kind of beef. That's true. pretty <laughs> vanilla. They took my son. Oh, gee. Really? What is our trauma okay. gonna be? Eh, that's public school for ya. Kid fell into the wrong group, got mm. off the way out. He signed up two years ago now. I can't believe this was all made by a solo dev. That's so cool. I'm looking for answers. I feel like there's more to it than that. Her parents were so lucky. We almost someone screwed up. That much they couldn't hide. I'm just sick of no one being held accountable. So valid. Right, hence this team. You wanted to get close. Start at the source and work your way back. Yes, yeah, that's it like that. I finally caught up to him. <laughs> We're power walking. She passed two months back now. I guess, I guess this is just my way of making sense of that. I'm sorry. It's an all too familiar story. We among friends here. We'll get answers no matter what. I hope so. Interesting. Make your way to the beach with Charlie. Alright, Charlie, let's go. I feel like we're really close already, so. Very curious about this contagion. Wonder if it'll be like a Resident Evil type of deal. Or if it's just, you know, like, a plague <laughs> that wipes everybody out. Here's our little research station. We got some more teammates on the beach, it looks like. Can I run? Oh! Oh, I can run, I can run! <gasps> Is this a giant skeleton? I want to go look at it. What's this? Is it from a whale? Oh, no, I can't. I can't go look. Okay. Oh, cutscene. Hey guys. No mark. I, I guess not. About you. Had to ask you about something? Yeah, he's uh he's not here. I mean, obviously. 
Hmm. I have a feeling Mark hey, is dead. Just a hunch. Mm, he just bowed halfway up the hill. Uh oh. Yeah, I'll be around somewhere. Sasha, why don't you check along the beach whilst we finish setting up here? He's probably off taking a dump or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm on I don't think so, though. I have a feeling the contagion got to Mark. Or Mark. Press LB to run. I already figured that out. Thanks, game. What's in our little hut? What's in here? All of our samples. I can't interact with anything. That's okay, though. Alright, where am I heading? Looking for Mark? Oh, Mark! Where are you, sir? Mark? Hello? Okay, we are exploring. Go back to our group, I guess. And tell him no signs of Mark. Unless they want me to go this way, actually. Actually, I think so. Hello. Here we go. Yeah, this is Mark. where it's supposed to go. Mark! Please don't be dead. Okay, can't go up there. He's gotta be back in that, like, cave looking. Well, I guess it's not a cave, like a crevice. Mark! Hello? Come on, Mark. Mark, come on. We've got a Mark, to don't do. be dead. We need you, pal. Yeah, I think he's gonna be back in there. I just have a feeling. Mmm, let's not get trapped anywhere, shall we? Oh! Mark! Is this yours, Mark? Uh-oh. Can we go in here? Yeah. Oh, no. The claustrophobia sets in. Oh, shit. Some- some nasty's gonna be in here. Something really nasty is gonna be in here. Hello? Uh oh. Uh oh. Mark, what'd you do? Big old bug. Okay. Music is getting spooky. Really love the atmosphere and the, like the camera angle for this. We're really going far back in this little area. Uh, there's more bugs. Oh uh, no. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this really doesn't look good. Oh shit, he's gonna be... He's gonna be in there. It's like a chasm in <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Is... Mark? This is fine. Micah's apartment, City of Aeonis. Twelve days later. I am. I. My guy pulled through. He's got the pass. Oh? <gasps> this is the girl I recognize from our demo. She's still out there, Tex. Somewhere. Scared and alone. I'll get it, Meek. You got about Meek. 24 hours before the clearance gets flagged. You missed that window, and I got two lost friends. Whoa. The city looks very cool. Very vibrant. Lively. On the east sheet, borrow seven near the underpass. Once he's flashed the clearance mod on your hubba, he'll set you up with some blocker fluid. Blocker fluid? You need to take it when you're about an hour from that the must, city limits. Uh, that must block whatever the contagion is. I'll keep you on contact, but you know as well as me, anything happens out there, and you're on your own. Last chance, Meek. You sure this is the right call? We need answers. She's coming home, Tex. Four hours later. That's a long trip. 
There's our research area. We know. Sorry, I'm unable to process your request. The, the, the root function termination uh -oh. detected. It will require an administrator. And that's not good. Oh, rough landing. This is where the demo started. This I recognize. I'm really excited because I'm gonna correct my errors from the demo. I'm gonna actually find the handgun <laughs> through the whole demo without ever finding it. And the demo let me, so like, I woke to the acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point, someplace high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. A nice tall hotel or apartment building should do the trick. This wasn't over. I wish it was like dark and rainy outside IRL while I was playing this. Tax. Tax. Do you copy? All right, the gun has to be somewhere. I missed it. It had to have been like in these early sections of the game. Like, is it in here? See, what a wreck. There's no way I'm flying out of here. System critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't go in these buildings. Can't run right now. Press R to toggle torch. Okay, cool. My arm definitely seems injured, like, pretty bad. If we're holding it like that, you know? What is this? Nastiness. Okay, let's see if there's... Press A to interact when pickup is displayed. This must be where I <laughs> missed the weapon. Okay, we got a health kit. A medical repair spray has been left in the back of the ambulance. Yes, we'll take that. <sighs> Thank God nanotech doesn't have a shelf life. All right. Oh, this just fills me with nostalgia. Okay, where is my items? Oh, I actually have a gun in here now. Repair spray. Use. All right, now I can run. Yay. Wait, am I going backwards? No, I think I'm going the right way. Am I? Press hold Y to open quick select. Oh, here we go. Area map. Oh, look at this. Moving along. This place looks very abandoned. Pick up. What are we picking up? An old industrial mech sits lifeless, collapsed into a residential building. Am I gonna go in the mech? What are. <laughs> okay, I guess we didn't actually pick anything up, but that's fine. Um, press L to reset our camera. R can be used to nudge moving cameras. Okay, cool. Go through here. Love the atmosphere in this game so far. 
see. Looks like this street was intentionally closed off, but what were they trying to keep out? Never mind, I need to get signal through to tax. I think I saw an alleyway leading to the apartment block back by that rusty mech. Oh, okay, okay. It's been a while since I did the demo. Okay, the mech was back there. This alley? No. So where is the alley? This way? I think it's this way. I see a light on. Oh, whoa, what do I see here? A playground? Do we have time to go on the swings? <laughs> I love that the swings do move. I, I wish I could have her sit on them, but... <laughs> can I get on this? Oh, sad face. Okay. Oh, at least I can spit it. Okay, anyway. Let's uh climb in through the window with the light on. And hopefully not get murdered. Hello, hello. Okay. Time to find a way up to the roof. Bless auto save. Okay. What do we have here? Gator House Register has been added to documents. A list of residents found in Gator House. Some names appear to be a moniker. This document must predate the citizen EID scheme. A Miguel Roy, Kim Lambert, Mikhail Dennis, Sully, Bart Martinez, Richard Shilkus, Keenan Ward, Declan Masterson, and Rich Selman. I wonder if I'll need to know those names later, or if that was just like, I don't know, random friends' names of the developer. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. The lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Is this, what is this, a map? We used to be happy. Well, X marks the spot. Let's, uh, let's go upstairs. That one's also there. It's so dark. <laughs> I know there's gonna be some nasty enemies coming out soon. I sort of remember. Oh, I think I remember finding, like, really gross dead bodies or something, too. God, I'm so excited for spooky season. Just trash and dirty plates. I'm not cleaning it. Oh! <laughs> what was that just saying? That looks like a horrible way to go. There's something pierced through their stomach. I guess they got on the wrong side of someone with nothing to lose. It do be like that in the post-apocalyptic scenario. Alright, give me this ammo. So, can we equip this gun yet, though? Okay, now I have the gun. I bet you that is all I had to do in the demo, and I just didn't do that. That's so funny. What's in here? That's just that kitchen. Okay. Oh, did I go in here yet? No, I did not. This nasty bathroom. Sink is filthy. Bathtubs are so weird. I can't believe people used to just sit in them and expect to come out clean. Kind of how I feel about baths. Sitting in the human soup. Okay, there's some of those bugs that were on the beach. Wee. It's so dark. I'm scared. Okay. Here's another room we can go in. Oh! <laughs> uh, hello. How you doing? Oh, God. 
Oh, look, our little thing tells us. Deceased due to acute dehydration. Date of birth is from 27, so that's only a couple years from now. What do we have here? You gonna pay me to sleep in this place. Same. Radio doesn't appear to work. Full of old clothes and other useless junk. Okay. Let's um jump in this hole in the ground. There's a key down there. I can see right through to the ground floor. There's something on the table. I can't reach it with my bare hands. So jump in, girl. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, I guess I it won't let me jump in. I really wanted to. Can I jump out here on the window? No. Okay. Moving on, moving on. So echoey. Something is gonna come get me. I just know it. I just have a feeling. What is in this room? More garbage? More disgusting filth? Clogged with something I'd rather not think about. Yeah, nasty. More dead bodies? Yes, sir. What is on his face? Pancreatic necrosis. Oof. That's not good. It's trash. Alright, let's go around here and get this ammo. I definitely thought that was going to lead us to, like, another room but i'll take the ammo what's the over under that i get lost <laughs> okay these rooms are all locked Is there more ammo down there no what about this hallway did we go down here Something about this is reminding me of when I used to play so much Phasmophobia a few years ago. Like, so much. Alright, this is the room with that key down there. Got it. Oh, I know there's a map. Let's see. How did I get to this floor? Like, how did I get so lost already? Oh! Okay, I guess I haven't been here yet. Select code tag from inventory to use. Whoops. Here it is. Let's use our radio. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Babe, are you sure you're alright? You've not touched your dinner. What's happening? Are we seeing like what happened in this room? You didn't take your lunch with you today. You have to eat something. Get out. What? Take a walk. Give me, give me some fucking space. Rude. Uh, honey, you're scaring me. Please tell me what's wrong. Sounds like it's the contagion. If this is the guy who died of a necrotic pancreas, the loss of appetite would make sense. Just saying.
No, don't like this. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay, the achievement just said find the second signal. So I guess I missed the first one somewhere. Moldy plates and cutlery. Go roast. Now this is a different dead guy. More death. So many of these people didn't make it out. Okay, I kind of want to go back in the other dead body rooms and use my Raju in there. Pile of trash. It's no use to me. Did I check this bathroom? Love to wash my hands, but there's no water. Not that I trust the water anyway. Real. Did not go in here. I don't think. It's all starting to look the same. Wait. No, this is pancreatic necrosis, dude. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I missed this earlier. Good thing I came back in here. A key card is grasped in the body's hand. Yes, we will take it. Room key added to inventory. I'm also gonna try and see if... Okay, no signal in this area. But I'm gonna try it again elsewhere. See if we get some more signals. Okay, 231 you say? Which room numbers are we even at? I really wish I could, like, turn the lights on in this building. Okay, 214. I already went there. Let me look at my map arena again. Wish this had room numbers, but it's all good. Let us go this way. I think this is, like, a hallway in the middle between two rows of rooms if that makes sense 221 I don't think I've been in here yet I don't think so this nasty kitchen just trash and dirty plates maybe I have been in here Yes, okay, I have been in here. I'm gonna try the radio again. Okay, no signal. Let me make sure there wasn't anything to take from this. Nope. Game is supposed to take between three to five hours, according to the developer, but I just have a feeling, knowing me, knowing how lost I get, that it's gonna be a lot longer. Okay, which room was it? This room? Two, three, one. Or just 23. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, this is, uh, this is where we can jump down and get that key, I believe. Nice landing, nice landing. Anything for moi? Oh my god, look at this cute... What's it doing? <laughs> Hello. No, a tiny baby died here. Child's drawing, bazillionaire. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mommy and daddy. Oh, no, 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 I read that wrong. If I was a bazillionaire, I would buy mommy a new daddy and get pizza every day. Honestly, goals. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, 
poor child growing up in this world. You don't deserve it. Aspiration ammonia. That means that you inhaled like food or vomit and then got ammonia from it. That is awful. Gross. The sheet something something. I read it too fast. I hate to think how long it's been since those sheets have been washed. That's real. Ooh, a hammer. Right through the family portrait. Yes, we'll take it. Okay. We got our hammer. Hammer Tom. We got our depressing dead child. Uh oh. I'm getting a phone call. Wait, I don't have a phone on me though. Uh, hello? So the phones still get electricity. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Who is this? How are you? How is this line still active? Good question. I must see a ghost. I love it. Feel like somebody pissed off an entity. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. Mika says, I don't have time for this. Alright, enemies are a common. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Saving. Well, that was cute. That was a good time. Oh, and now our door's jammed. Wait, no, it always would have been jammed because I jumped down through the ceiling. Just kidding. So how do I get back up? A missile lies dormant buried under the rubble. Is it active? I don't want to find out. That is, <laughs> that's like a good consideration. Can I use my hammer to pry open the door? No? Okay. It was worth a shot. What about this? This has an X on it. The radiator appears to be damaged, barely hanging to the wall. Remove it? Hell yeah. There we go. And now we get to... I don't know. Rust this open. The wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard behind. I may be able to break through with the right tool. Good thing I just picked up a hammer. God, I just love the vibes of this game so much already. It's just, ugh. Perfect survival horror. The rowback atmosphere. Okay, we just, <laughs> she did some work here. I mean, look at that. That's a big asshole. Thank goodness, cause your girl gets claustrophobic. Um, cool, cool, cool. Let's see, that room's open. This one is locked. My key card only works for the one room. This one here. Hello? Anything for me in the tub? Fill the old bathtub. The pool of steel water sits at the bottom. Any ammo in the toilet? No? No? I do see a purple glow though. This is very aesthetic. Love it. A small child's bed. Various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or... 
we can fill in the blanks there. I guess this is where the parents slept. I wonder what happened to them. I hope they got out. Anything fun in here? I think that's just world building. Kitchen's been filled with old rubbish bags. Ugh, the smell is revolting. I can imagine. It'd be so nasty. Especially as it's probably been sitting here for ages. Okay. I see a red glow. Interesting. Another locked room. Okay, nothing there. Go down this way, go the other side. I wonder if the whole game is gonna be like set in this apartment building or if we're gonna get to go explore further after. Ooh, a blood trail. <laughs> and something trying to get out of here. An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded in the door. That sounds like a beautiful melee weapon. Is the door still shaking? It was. Oh God. <laughs> oh, you hear that? I know I need to go in there. Are we, are we, are we loaded up? Now, where is it? Where is it? I sort of remember this room. I sort of, sort of remember it. What's this? A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. There's like heavy breathing in the ear. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, October 4th, 2025. That's a year from now. Oh. Yeah, I kind of remember this now. Look at it! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. This is much better with a gun. I can't believe I did the demo without ever realizing I could equip a gun. I, I know I've said it like three times now. Probably more than that. But I'm just like, that's so funny. To me. Okay, so... Those things were feeding in a child's room here. That means this must have been like a fresher body, though. Ischemic stroke. Okay, personal save is mounted on the wall. Her birthday was 10 4. That were No. Oh, we're looking at graduation. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm remembering this now. So she's born in 2025. So if she graduated, let's say it's high school, 25 plus 18, that's going to be 40, three, 43. Is that not it? Maybe after college? Oh, I know I, when I solved this, I guessed before. I know I did that. Okay, I'm gonna look around and see. Maybe it's the actual specific date of her graduation because I can't remember. Let's go look at the photos. Three girls at a university graduation. Okay, so it's college. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. That must have been our girl. Okay, no more of the photos on the wall that we can look at. What about this picture? 30. A young woman celebrating a birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. So if she had her kid when, um, if she was 30, when her kid was three or four, 
That means she was pregnant when she was like 26. Which means that she graduated while she was pregnant. So she would have been 26. So 2025, her birthday, plus 26. That is going to put us at 51. 2051 would be the year the daughter was born. Or I mean, the year she graduated. Right? Maybe it's 52. There it is. Okay, because they said three or four. Okay, a large metal key hides in the back of the safe. Yes, we will take it. The long key. Yay, I did a puzzle. Go, brain, go. Reload this bitch. I hear something. Is that thing going to come back to life? Can we inspect further? No. Any extra ammo? Not that I see. Just a sink, nothing much. Alright, there's our blood trail, but was there anything else further down this hallway? Um, it's locked tight, nobody open it. Okay, so no. I am hearing, like, do y'all hear it? I'm hearing heavy breathing. I'm hearing something nasty. I think there's gonna be a jump scare. I've just got like a, an intuition that there's gonna be a jump scare. We'll see. All right, menacing light. Got it, got it, dope. You know, something nasty was happening in here. At least the bathtub's clean, comparatively, anyway. That's funny. The one clean bathroom in the whole building. Notice there's like little particulates floating in the air. Is that stuff coming from outside? Spreads like mold. Jeez, I hope it's not airborne. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's looking airborne. <laughs> Is that a body? Oh yeah, it is. All the cupboards have been stripped bare. They cut off the city and left all these people to starve. Someone needs to answer for this. Agreed. This is pretty awful. This is a crime. It's all over the walls. Yeah, no, this is nasty, nasty business. And I'm sure it was some corporate greed got us here. Okay. Well. That was cute. That was fun. There's our blood trail room. So let's go back to the other side. Oh. Hello. <laughs> that must have been the reason I was here. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's not dead. Okay. Ah! Can I use... Hold on. Can I melee you? Can I... Can I melee you? Shit. Shit. I'm struggling. Where is that? This. Let me equip you. Ooh, look, hold to lock on. Let me just beat, beat the fuck out of this thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, curb stop it. Did we kill it? I think we're good. Okay, so now. Okay, I guess I just had to like equip it all first. This is fine. I just need to find some health and some ammo. Or we can melee this bitch. Oh my god, did I kick its head? <laughs> I think I kicked its head a little bit. That's so cute. I love video games. Yeah, come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. 
I love melee, though. I just gotta say. If I die, it's my fault. But, like, how fun. <laughs> Something about this reminds me of Left 4 Dead. I can't explain it. Is it dead yet? I used to play so much Left 4 Dead 2 back in high school and college with my friends. And this is just reminding me of like that hotel where you go through. A television set. This one has seen better days. I want to play Left 4 Dead 2 again now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, what's this? Another dead person. We do have some ammo at least. Whoops, wrong button. I can reload. If I can also find a med kit in here, that would be really cute. That would be really swell. But I think I'm just confined to the ammo for now. System critical. I know, I know, I know. Bathroom, help me. Sounds like someone died in here. They probably did. Let me go through here. With our long boy key. Aha! Let's go. Ooh, stairs. Cutscene? No, just stair scene. Oh wait, this is the very beginning. This is, I know where we're at. I see the way. Now I do want to check and see if I can't find like... Health kit, med spray, whatever it was called. Yeah, no, this is where we entered. Hold on. Hold, hold the phone. Can I bust this open with my crowbar my hammer i mean oh what's this a long key and an old card reader sit at the bottom of the lock box yes we will take these magnetic card writer and gf gate key a note jace i finally had all the locks updated the only resident that refused was that whack job in 14 We'll see if the super can do something about him. Anyway, keep this remapper someplace safe. Next time you lose your card, just hit the master button and swipe any of the spare room keys. It'll rewrite the card to give you house access. Any of those kids on second give you shit again, you call me, yeah? Hey. Okay, so it sounds like this is going to get us into any room we want, which... Love that. I'm going to go back this way, though. I'm going to go back up to two. I want to find the rest of those radio signals as well. I kind of am in the mood to like 100% this. Wait, does the elevator work? Okay, <laughs> I was going to say. No, I'm going to stick to this hallway first. Don't get distracted, Sage. Door is shut with the electronic lock. Good thing we have our fancy card reader thing, yeah? Oh, I gotta combine it. But I can combine it with this one, right? Right, right, right? Master room key added to inventory. Let's go. Use. Better have some health in here, please. Pretty please. I don't want to die. Is this El Baño? They're drinking some wine in the bathtub. Sounds fitting for this, uh, this scenario. To be honest. What's here? A television set. Looks like one of those old tube-based models. Ammo, let's go. Now, if you could have some health, that would be even better. Oh, <laughs> what a position to die in. Alice Hearth, social worker. Acute malnutrition. Some of these bodies aren't as decayed as the others. I wonder if there's anyone left alive. Ooh, I feel like that's foreshadowing. I feel like that's foreshadowing. Also, it's funny to me because literally my day job is 
to diagnose people with malnutrition, pretty much. It's filthy, no way of sleeping, something like that. Okay, here we go, here we go. Moving right along. I came from that way. I'm fairly certain. Didn't I? I must have. Boarded shut. You know, I wonder if... Can we use this? No. Okay. I have a lighter in my pocket. I wonder when I'm going to get to use that. Did I go down this way yet? There's 22. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting so turned around, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going to this side. We're going to this side. What if I could make a Molotov? That would be fun. I really do have Left 4 Dead 2 on the brain. <laughs> Let me just get myself locked and loaded. Just in case. Okay, I've been in here before. Oh, yeah, 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 this was this room. This was this room. I feel like I could stick something through here. Like, could I? She says I can't reach it with my bare hands. Could I somehow? Like, could I stick my club <laughs> in there? Gate key. We have to find the gate. Can I? I just want to, like, scoop something down there and get it out, you know? Jeff feel? So I definitely, like, there's no way that we don't need that key. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. So a couple locked rooms on the, is that the first floor? Or on this floor? Is there anything at the end of this hallway? I have not been in here yet. Okay, finally somewhere new. And the music is also very eerie, so this is definitely got to be where we need to go. Yay! Oh, yeah, I hear... <laughs> I hear the wheezing of the monsters. Hello? Are you in the bathroom? The tub is littered with tiny bones. The smell of bleach is making me nauseous. Ew, so they, like, destroyed a body in there. That's nasty. Okay, there's um a lot of bones in here. Holy shit. <laughs> what was going on in this apartment? Ew. Candle at dinner for one. Ew, like cannibal vibes. Super cannibal vibes. Oh, I oh, it, oh it's creepy in here. Ooh, thank you for more ammo. Thank you, game. Um yeah, this is, this is creepy. Imagine if this was, like, your neighbor. The drawers are filled with incense, candles, and various herbs. Uh, yeah, no. Don't like that. I hate to think what happened in this room. Sleeping with the dead. Some people are really messed up. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. This feels, like, beyond messed up, though. Okay, where am I? All right, now is there gonna be a monster? Oh! 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 I did not notice this. Okay. A portable cell battery sits wired into a broken diagnostics device. Um, yeah, I will take a portable battery. Thank you. So he's like dead, yeah? Right? I mean, is he? I wonder what we'll do with a battery. Have I been in this room? Yes, I've been in this room. Purple glow, I remember her. Okay, maybe we need the battery for like our radio signal. Looks like there's a room that I have not gone through. Wait, I'm hearing something. I am hearing noises. There was the hole that I crawled through. I shot this one dead. Okay. 
I need to find where I use that gate key. That seems like the next big thing I gotta do. I guess I'll go through this. And then go downstairs again. I don't know. This seems to be like the only place I haven't been able to go through yet. And I'm wondering if I can't like burn it or something. Let me set a light. Hmm. Can't really use a key. Because the phone. It's definitely wanting me to use an item. Maybe the battery acid can do something? Oh, yes it can. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now I can use a key. There we go. Finally. Now we're cooking. Good thing I have my trusty master room key. Maybe I'll find some health spray finally. Okay. What have we got here? Not sure what they were thinking when they bought this. I couldn't tell what it was a poster of, but okay. Health? No? Oh, <laughs> that's quite a death. Jesus. Yeah. Intracranial hematoma. So someone beat you. Anything I can use from your room? No. All right. Well, that was fun. Oh, there we go. Did we get it? Did we get it? I think there was a way I could stomp. Oh, shit. Got a little too overzealous. Wanted to try and stomp it. This is fine. I wonder where it auto saved me at. All the way back here? Oh, man. This sent me back so far. Oh. A few moments later. Okay, so I basically had to go redo like the entire game. Yeah, this thing killed me. And I lost like an hour. <laughs> oh, but it's fine. I think I like I didn't backtrack and do everything I explored before, so hopefully it's fine. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. But uh might be. I got all the key items at least. What is this red glow? You couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. Oh, we got some ammo. I'm hearing noises. Oh, hello. Aortic dissection. Oof. Oh, this person was born in 2005. This was like the first older person we've seen. Noise complaint. I tell them something's off, and they have the audacity to tell me it's the pipes. Well, I might not be Captain Obvious, but I already checked the pipes. They don't act up at 2am. I swear to god that if I hear that unit upstairs stomping around again, I'm going up there myself to give them my peace of my mind. Fucking idiots. Drama. What about this room? What's in here? More death and despair. Oh my god, did your TV fall on you? Is that how you died? They always did say a TV rots your brain. Ha ha ha. I'm definitely getting haunted for that one. Yeah, you are. I hear noises again. It's full of old clothes and useless junk. Anything useful in this apartment? Does does not seem so. Well, shall we? What is happening? Hello. 
Hey. Oh, another signal. I that day we got stuck at the sushi joint on seven. The whole street was locked down that night. Everyone was freaking out, calling their bosses, lawyers, loved ones. But you said you didn't care. You trapped there with me. And as much sushi mm, as you can eat. Sushi. You said there was no better way to go. Family and folks. looks nasty oh now we're getting more of this no wait we had another phone call notice the tenants has been added dear valued tenants we write to inform you of an important development regarding your residency at gator house as you are aware the property has recently been acquired by sherwood estate management and will undergo certain changes in its management and policies Following this acquisition, there will be an adjustment in the terms of occupancy and rental prices. Our aim is to enhance the living experience and ensure the sustained quality of the premises. In light of this transition, we kindly request your attention to the terms attached. We understand the significance of this change and its impact on your living arrangements. Should you find it unsuitable to continue under the updated terms, we respect your decision to seek alternative accommodation. In such a case, we kindly ask that you notify us within the stipulated time frame to facilitate a smooth transition. We assure you that the transition process will be handled with the utmost care and consideration for your comfort and convenience. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation during this transition period. Sincerely, Mike Crew of Sherwood Estate Management. Yeah, that's always the worst. <laughs> New property management companies. All right, who is calling this creepy demon or whatever it is? I don't think it's a person. Why do we keep getting called a bird? <laughs> it's you. Murderer. Murderer. You have blood on your what did we do? Look, I don't know what those things were. Yeah, I guess we did kill the Can creatures. Where are you watching me from? What the fuck is this place? I told you. Just stay in the play with mom. I can't be here. I I have to get out. I have to get Sasha. And I have to get the fuck out of here. Be careful what you wish for. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Now I can save. <laughs> oh, I was so I was so close. Oh well. What was going on here? This is very sussy. Looks like someone set up a makeshift distillery here. There's half empty bottle of alcohol. <gasps> we are gonna get to make a Molotov, aren't we? My dreams have been realized. <laughs> My dreams. Okay, so this floor clearly got it the worst. An old bin filled with damp charred packing paper. Yes! For my Molotov. Why is why is the light glowing? Or are we just gonna burn it? Nothing to set a light. Yes, there is. Pour this on it. And then we'll burn it. Soak the contents in alcohol. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm seeing what we're doing here. No Molotov like I was thinking, but... Oh, we're trying to trigger the fire alarm, aren't we? That must be what those are. Smoke detectors. 
That's gotta be it. Aha. But what'll this do for me? Oh. Yeah, I don't know how that was helpful. Just to be honest. The gate is firmly stuck and tangled in that gross fleshy mass. Alright, well let's go... Can we get in here with the stuff on the door? I guess so. Oh, what, what happened here? It's a big room. Looks like the exit door, but it's locked to the keypad. Well, there's got to be something in here to let us know the combo. What's the sign say? Electrician's note. Jace, elevator keeps not elevating. Just decommission this thing already. It's beyond help. If anyone gets stuck again, flip the switches until the dial matches the picture on the cover. There's a big square button you gotta press when the voltage is right. I'm serious though, the lift's a death trap. Okay, so we got a little tic-tac-toe action there. All right, all right. Which buttons was I supposed to press to make that happen? Not this keypad. Be something else. And in here? Aha! Okay, so O is gonna be. That bottom one is missing. Um. Is that it? We need it to be 600 volts, so it must be not that. That puts it over. Like I did it, like the picture. The picture had these flipped. So the alternate option would be that, but that doesn't make sense. Maybe I need to find something to use instead for this switch that's missing. Because the switch is on there now. There's no way we're getting anywhere. I've been in this room. Sapsis, second to pneumonia. Future wishes has been added. What do I wish for my future, you ask? I hope my family leads a happy life, that my work remains my passion, that my hobbies continue to bring me joy, and that the world evolves into a better place for everyone. What's certain is that even after death, my love for games, trophies, and collectibles will not fade. Obviously, this isn't entirely true. I've now become a collectible myself, waiting to be discovered by the curious. But this gives me hope. Hope that my other wishes will also be fulfilled. Hope that hope for my family's happiness and hope for a better world. I'm confident that I will find rest in a beautiful place. I can smell the roses already. What's in the Oh, there's actually something in the kitchen this time. Chopsticks? Could be useful. I wonder if we can use those as the switch. Anything else in here? Oh, oh, there's actually a signal this time. For one of our things. The Lack Stop Cafe poster on the wall. I wonder if that'll be... It's related to. Water's not working again. The cat. It's just spitting. It smells funny. All that nasty growth. The moldy stuff. Yeah, this seems like a real slumlord situation. This building. Living here would be so awful. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be that color either. Ugh. It's disgusting. How are we supposed to trust it after this? I know, I know, it's, it's not. Of course it's not. 
I don't think all the Brita filters in the world could save you from this nastiness. Alright, that one was the third signal. I missed the first one somewhere. Oh, hey, guitar. Look at that. Wait, we can actually pick it up, too. Can you use it as a weapon? Let's go. That's pretty cool, actually. Okay, let's try this, um... Let's try and see if I can't jam these chopsticks in the, uh... Where was the thing? In here. It says use. Maybe I have to get it out like this first? Aha! There we go. Oh my god, this is wild. <laughs> okay, so the pattern was these three were doing something okay that doesn't work so let's try that oh what do you know perfect 600 <gasps> will there be light looks like that did the trick or at least elevation let there be an elevator i feel like something nasty is gonna be on this elevator just a hunch I don't think it's gonna be like an empty normal elevator. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Well, where do we wanna go? Up to get our signal higher. We've already been on the second floor, so let's see. Let's see how high up this will take us. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Are we stuck in the elevator? Am I going to die? Am I gonna die in here? Uh. Uh. Oh, it all went dark. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, we're not dead yet, so that's something. <gasps> Who are you? No, don't jump. Don't, don't jump. Don't jump. There was someone alive, it would seem. After all, I knew that was foreshadowing. A malnourished man with an open wound across his face stands before me. He teeters over the eight-story drop to the streets below, casually shifting his weight as he sways to a silent rhythm. Oh my god, I have to stop this person from jumping. Oh god. Uh, I'll try excuse me. Excuse me. They turned and they're looking. He keeps glancing at his wristwatch, an old analog clock. I'd be surprised if it still works. This is reminding me of Life is Strange, trying to stop Kate from jumping. Which I did successfully talk her down, by the way. Oh no. Let's say... I'm gonna say... Ooh, this is tricky. I don't want to, like, leap to conclusions. Like, nobody said that makes him a bad person. He looks infected with something, also. I'm gonna say we've all done bad things. We've done bad things. The world's fucking cruel. We do what we have to do. Yeah. There's too much you have to do to survive. I'm not the same. Uh-oh. You only wish to body your conscience. <sighs> I'm sorry. Bye. Mmm. Why is he checking his watch, though? Uh, I'm gonna say, do you live up here? Do you live up here? I saw the tent. Not mine. Hmm. There are others. Other people, I mean. Not anymore. Mm, I don't think I'm Did doing so well here. After the collapse. So you had a sibling, okay. Got better than to press him on the details. The man was clearly unstable. Bringing up the past was hardly going to help. He also stood inches from a fatal fall. I need to consider my words carefully. Oh shit. Try radio. Maybe that'll bring out like those memories, but that might make him even more prone to jump in. I'm gonna say I'm looking for someone.
Savage. Her name's Sasha. Came here looking for answers, except she never came back. It's been. This could be bad if he like gets triggered. She's here. Wait, you know her? Excuse me. Friend. She's here too. You seen her? I wonder if this is that Mark guy who went missing. Nobody leaves. Oh, shit. Look, if hmm. you know where she is. Uh oh. A shrill beep followed the crackle of static emits from my radio. That sentence doesn't make sense. Someone's trying to reach me. It could be tax. I'm gonna answer it. I fumble over the radio as I remove it from my belt. A shrill beep followed the crackle of static rings out. Do they mean followed by the crackle of static, I think? Underneath the layers of noise, I can make out a familiar voice. It's tax. I'm a bad feeling he's gonna jump like while I'm on the radio call. Tax. Oh, you gotta help me. What's this guy doing? As the radio tries to hold on to his signal, Tax's voice fades in and out of the static. Oh yeah, y'all can't see what he looks like, so let me just hide my face real quick. That didn't work, as intended. Train runs right underneath. Yeah, here's, um... Here's his face. See, he looks infected with something. Tax? At least I Tax? think so. Do you hear me? The radio fades out, cutting off into dead air. Don't jump, sir. Okay. Get to the underground. I can do that. We got a way out. Come yeah, on, follow go. me, pal. You're out of time. Out of time for what? Oh shit, he's Wait, no. I messed up. No. Just like that, he was gone. I don't know if I could have changed his mind. I'm going to hope Nothing I said. It wasn't my fault. That's what I'm trying to get at. I saw a number over here on this paper. There's a torn note on the table. Yes, we'll pick it up. Torn note. Oh, it must be a key item then. Inspect. Torn paper note with the numbers 8053 scrawled on the side. I wonder where we have to give that to. Anything in here? Oh no, just me. I'm just clipping through it. That is all. This looks like maybe a helicopter would land on this roof. No ammo, no bitches. Back downstairs we go. Oh yeah, elevator. That's where I came from. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back, go back. The code, 8053. That's gotta be it. It's unlocked. That was interesting, I had us use it as a key item instead of just typing the numbers. Anyway. That man, I failed him. He needed me and I let him down. I can't fail her too. Yay, autosave. Let's go. I'm really, really excited to see where this game goes next. I am loving the vibes. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be recording part two and getting that uploaded shortly as well. In the meantime, you can check out some other survival horror content from me. Have a great day.